Welcome to 5 Minute Crafts, the third edition. And today we're gonna make a badge. Hi, my name is Trevor Dorisky and welcome to my channel. As you've seen in the intro, today we're gonna make my first batch. I started making this video a few weeks ago, but I'm editing it behind me here. It's way too long, like 25 minutes. So I've decided to split it up into two parts. And now you're watching part one and have fun with the truffle from the past. And I've got my first real furry event that I'm attending. It's called uh, University. It's in the Netherlands, in Zoetermeer. Yeah, I'm really excited. I really don't know what I can expect. I can finally take Truffle out and play some games over there because it's like arcade hall or something. But I know it's gonna be really fun and maybe I'll make a video about that as well. But because I'm going to my first event, I need to have a badge for around my neck. I don't really have the time to make a complete new design. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take an old sketch I made of Truffle, yeah, add the name and maybe pixelate it a bit so it, it kind of refers to arcade games or something. And afterwards, of course, we've got to laminate it into plastic so I can wear it around my neck. Um, yeah, really excited for that. But first, I've got something completely different. Um, I got some new lights uh, for my birthday for my friends. And I think it would be great if I can hang them up there to yeah, shoot down and make the background look uh, colorful because when I'm making the batch, I will sit behind my computer over there and you guys will be seeing the yeah, now empty, really boring white wall. So we're first gonna do that and then we're gonna make a really nice batch. <laughs> okay, so I got two of these lights. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there's some really nice parts you can hang up and you can, yeah, with different colors and stuff. Um, but I just want to hang them up there. I'm not going to fix them permanently to there because I want to remove them when I go to a party or something. I can take them with me. Um, so I've got these hooks and I think they will fit um, on those, yeah, what are they called? In English, I really don't know. CV Leidingen uh, in Dutch. I'll subtitle it for you uh, English folks. Here they go, oh, it's bright. I think the left, my God. I think orange, yeah, orange and blue will be nice because, yeah, then you go to, I think this is orange, orangey, kind of. And then the next one needs to be blue. Go on, go on, turn it on for me. <laughs> Can you see that I put it in here? No, it's gonna. Ah. Uh, menu. No. Blue, perfect. Enter. I'm always taking the hard road by doing this in person, but it's fun to look at. At least I enjoy watching myself struggle a lot. Another ring. Wing nut. Come on. Okay, let's first try with one. Check if it works. If you put it like this, you can hang up there. I've got it. A small step over here, it's very too small for my pops, but I'll try. Um, let's first try this one. Hmm, perfect. I'm not going to attach anything, just like I said, I want to remove everything right really easily to take it away with me. I don't want it to be an even bigger hustle than it already is. Then the second one, this one, hooky attach, and then the wing, the wing nuts about here, I think. Ah, don't fall, please. Okay, the camera just turned off by itself, but it's on again. Um, yes, this light is up there. The other light as well. Now we need to attach some power to it. I'm standing on one leg. This one. Thank you. It's fine for the video, but I will not leave it like that because it will fall down on your head. And now I'm wearing truffle, so it won't hurt me. But if my boyfriend is standing here and it falls down, um, I will be in big trouble. Next thing. Uh, okay, three, two, one, live. Uh, oh, 
No. I forgot to turn on the extension cord. Fine. Go up, up, away again. Balancing trouble, balancing. And lift. <laughs> this one is like perfect. It's hitting the wall a bit, but mostly shining on the floor. That's why you see this like beautiful cone of light. <sighs> Alright, perfect. Okay, enough of that. Yeah, it's time to make my first batch. Let's go to the computer. Okay, we're behind the computer. I had to switch the camera with a wider angle. Uh, otherwise, I was the whole time sitting up here and that, that's not really good to look at. And you, then you cannot see anything I'm doing. So now I can sit back here and the lights. They're up there. Um, the only thing about this camera, it's a bit old. So the color rendition isn't like really good. So <laughs> they look more or less the same. What we're gonna do is I've got a really old art piece of Truffle. You guys probably know it. I use it as avatar on my YouTube. But first we have to find it. And it's been a really long time. And then I also want to use the letters that I use for my YouTube banner uh, underneath. Uh, and pixelate them a bit. So the vibe of an arcade comes a bit through. I think you can find the original Photoshop file. It would be amazing that I don't have to screw around with a lower resolution picture. But where do I find? Let's put it on this screen so you can, can guys, if I, yeah, come. Come down. It's really hard to see between the eyes on the screen. I'm all, also, my dominant eye is, is, the right, is my right eye, but it's also the eye with the worst vision. So yeah, these are like old pictures of Trump. Um, we have to find the one that I use for my YouTube banner. Ah, look at it, it's in my ref sheet. I should have known that. So let's put my ref sheet in Photoshop. Yes, perfect. I have to go to my office to print it over there because I don't have a printer at home. Um, so I'll do that tomorrow and then we continue the finishing of the batch uh, afterwards. But first, making the batch. Um, so yeah, I really don't know which, what size I should make it. Okay, and then we have to find the YouTube banner because I want to use the truffle name that's on, on the YouTube banner. I want to put it underneath of here. I'm also a bit dyslectic, a bit dyslectic. I'm really dyslectic, so reading is not my strong point. <laughs> I actually don't have a lot of strong points. I'm just a furry that does stupid shit on the internet. Um, so yeah. You always have to try something, check if it works. If it doesn't, just go back. Like the Control Z is like your best friend. Uh, let's go to the filter gallery. Oh God. Don't see a lot that happens, the stroke string. It really is like a pixelate effect. I can never find it. Ooh. No, no, oh, God. Okay, this is kind of fun. Okay, that looks kind of retro. Retro, retro. Stylized. Five hours later. Like your best friend during Photoshop is always YouTube or Google. So Photoshop pixelate effect. How to pixelate in Photoshop. Hmm. Over here we have an image that we want to pixelate. Okay. Yeah. It's it's <laughs> I'm so I'm always so stupid. It's just <laughs> it's there. Why? It's just underneath pixel. It's just underneath the filter tab. I was looking for like five minutes, but couldn't find it. Okay. <laughs> so stupid. Okay. We found it. Perfect. This one on the tutorial also looks really nice. Let's check which option he chooses. Okay, where's my mouse? I lost my mouse. Here it is. Filter. Pixelate, it's there. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Never forget that. Mosaic. Oh, no. This is way too much. Now you cannot read any, any of it. It also looks a bit like <laughs> it's just a really bad quality picture. So I don't think I like it. I like this one better. Hmm. Hmm. Which one should I choose? I don't know. This one looks nice. But I also like this one because it's more like arcadey. You know what I mean? This one? 
or this one? This one or this one? This one or this one? I think I will go with this one. I have chosen. It will become this one. I can read it. You can see it's like meant to be like this. And it's a bit arcadey, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> Where is the look for the Okay, I will save it as this. At my office, I also can open Photoshop, so I will print it from there. When I've printed it, I will go to the action. It's like a yeah, really cheap like dollar store, if you know the dollar store. It's a bit like that, just really cheap. They got everything. Um, I saw like a device that you can put your, um, yeah, your paperwork in and it makes it plastic. Lemon, 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 lemon. This thing Laminator. for like really cheap. Print in my office tomorrow as well. And then because of the magic of editing, that will be done in like two seconds. Yes, future travel here again. And I hope you enjoyed this video. This is part one of making the batch. In the next part, we're going to uh, cut it up, uh, put it through the laminator and uh, yeah, finalize the batch and make it come to life. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this one and see you all next week. Bye bye.